Acer 35 inch predator with freezing is here. It's me, Jimmy Agix. So, this is a rant on the Acer 35 inch ultra wide curve predator. If you don't know, you can easily get the Acer 35 inch ultra wide curve predator with a G Sync. G Sync versus freezing. G Sync stands for NVIDIA, some kind of stupid sync. Free sync stands for. AMD some kind of stupid thing. I'm not a big fan of any of this thing. I hate this thing because I mean average consumer like me can't buy I mean their monitor is freaking bloody expensive and then G sync and free sync are going to flop the same way the 3d technology flop or the Nvidia 3d or the AMD 3d technology flop stay away from it there's no bloody future i mean it's much better i mean the monitor manufacturer can focus on the response time on the ghosting problem rather than making the stupid free things and trying to implement it and then try to if i just bought a g-sync monitor i can't play games with my amd why the monopoly is that so here is for the acer 35 inch ultra wide curve monitor which the model number is xd xz 350 cu Personal opinion is that it's a good monitor that the resolution is not so high. The resolution is same as my LG monitor, which is like 2560 pixel time, 180 pixel, which is at full HD resolution. Only the thing difference is wider. And then this monitor is I mean it's good for I mean web development graphic design because I mean this ultra wide 35 inch SR monitor covered the 100% sRGB color it's not only good for web development even for professional work I really love 100% sRGB color covered so here what I will say get this monitor if you are a web developer if you are going to <laughs> if you are going to game with like the AMD Radeon or AMD 390 then get this monitor the ultra wide if not then, then just get a regular I mean monitor I mean 16 by 9 ratio because the ultra wide monitor I mean not all games support the game support I mean it will require like 15% extra GPU power and then for freezing I mean why the hell you will buying a freezing monitor with a full HD resolution only in conclusion I will just give it in my rank 10 out of 5 because it do not have I mean any QHD, UHD resolution it's in full HD I don't want to play my games on with free sync and full HD I need at least some kind of QHD technology but only I will get this monitor if this monitor is costing me like 600 bucks if anything about 600 bucks excuse me I'm sorry if anything about 500 bucks because why should I pay like 600 bucks there's nothing I mean any extra bells and it's rated if anything about if anything about 500 bucks i will not recommend it's just a full hd monitor with curve and freezing nothing more nothing less that's all whatever they say in the description you will get out of the box i'm not impressed hey, sir i'm not impressed like the video dislike the video and uh, do you agree with me let me know in the comment box below i will reply you back it's me give me bye